doing it. Uh, okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's like this. Uh, I think. Okay, let me just trim this out for the moment. You just have to kind of take it on one edge, and then you have to expand it out from that edge. But you have to have a certain pattern to do so that's it. The I, thing, I can yeah. I can show you how to do it though. Yeah, it's do not it. that hard. Because you have to just sim think think of the pattern that it's based on, and then just expand on that pattern from that face. So let me show you how to do that. As I mean, I've already built this particular pattern like so many times. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. It's funny. All right, here's the basic pattern again. I'm without familiar with the pattern sub. that you're doing. It's just that the difference yeah. is you've got. Let me finish it up. Yeah, you've got nodes on each side rather than a shit rather than a so you're actually splitting it there. So I guess ah uh, that's why it was losing efficiency because it's connected there. So now, well that's why that's why you just extend the cell now. Like now I'm going to make this a 5 by 10. Okay. And what you have to do first is you build you finish up the cell node and then you build off of the loci three blocks and then you extend it out build that cell up yeah and then notice you have low sign in the corner do the same thing one two three one two three one two three one two three and then build those out yep and just stay within the confines of the five by five space if that's what you need and let's finish this up I tend to do this kind of very methodically like that just so I can keep track of the nodes and then of course I'll connect a board, isn't it? I'll, now I have four low sign on the, on the uh, facing edges corners. and see now I'm just expanding it out this way now <coughs> it's beautiful and you can and like I said you can just extend this in any dimension that you want and just follow this particular pattern and it will still retain for the most part that energy density of at least 74. Well, it's, it's more efficient than the other one and if you can extend it like this along that axis and obviously it's easy to extend off this axis too then it's, yep. it's this, this is now once you recognize leader. once you recognize mm. the, the loci and then the way that each of the cells distribute on each of the axis then you can build it in any direction. I think I can see what you're doing now. It's beautiful. And and let me finish it off this last little bit here. And what now one of the little tricks I tend to do, depending on how it trims off, sometimes I'll add a cell or a half a cell inside between the, the loci if the pattern allows it. This particular one probably won't, but um, yeah, this one's going to end right like that, like a checker pattern. And there's not going to be any extra loci on the end of these, so I just kind of fill these in. And of course, you can fill minute, you can fill box nodes inside each of these holes, in, where there's space. So you can kind of plop those in there, and we fill these in. You might want to just. Now I'm going to go ahead and put energy inside these, if I can do it right. Eh, I got to put them on the shield spots. Hmm. Well, I'm filling in the sides insides now. I usually fill the insides as I go, but I wanted to show you just how the cells kind of worked with each other. Um, now you're putting them in inside the the old trick to get the extra bit of energy, yeah. Well, this is what you need to do in order to keep that energy density going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that makes yeah. sense, actually. That makes so much sense. And let's see. Oh, wow, I'm about to run out of shields. <laughs> That's okay. I can still cope with this. I'll just fill it in with something else. Yeah. Fill it in with guns. That's always fun. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. If the guns are bit, not yeah. connected, but what yeah. do they do to the rest of the array? Um, that's well, what I wanted the, to know. They fire in parallel. That's that. That's how my ship, the the weapon on my ship. Oh, okay. That's the theory behind the multiple bullets. Because I found you get better armor penetration if you have a row of six bullets firing okay. on the same square behind each other than if you just have one big bullet. Well, there is... Let's see. Actually, what's the dimensions of this? Five... Because if you have one big bullet, yeah, it okay. destroys the block, right? It, has, it destroys the block and the next one goes through. Whereas if you have lots of little bullets, the chances are the block breaks on, like, 
projectile yes. one or two, and then you get you you know. Um, the guy that uh, plays on here with me a lot, um, he, the ship he took to the Thunderdome had. It has something stupid, like through 12 normal hull, like one shot will go through 12 normal hull layers. Um, yeah, if, if the shot... hardened. Yeah, I, I've done a little bit of ballistics cool. research, but not much. That'll be my next area of uh, looking into. <laughs> yeah, actually, funnily enough, I got a little video showing something you, that'll be useful if you want to do that. You get water. You get water mm -hmm. and you put it in a giant block giant make you make a giant block of water mm -hmm. um, like I say I just finished editing that video it's not my technique it's somebody else right and we got a link to his YouTube but basically um, you make a ship with just literally a core and a massive block of water and uh, what happens is when you get out of the ship and shoot it it like it breaks but because it's transparent you know you can see it perfectly if you know what I mean, you can see the blast uh -huh. pattern straight through. Right. And you can even see where it's just partially broken some blocks and, you know, <laughs> it's brilliant. I, I, it's the fact it's that somebody cool. worked that out it was crazy. I, well, so. I do have water uh, in, one, in my private server. I have to check that out and see what I could do with it. That'd yeah, yeah, fun. that's what I'll be using it for. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making a patchwork out of this now, but it's a nice solid block. It's 5 by 5 by 11 total energy output right now is 18,849.6 and if you divide whoa, whoa, that out yeah yeah 18,000 nice if you divide that out across its volume yes. that's roughly i think that would be 250 blocks oh nice if See? you divide that out by 250 you're going to get an energy density of 75.4 Oh, if only I'd known this before I did the redid the energy on my latest ship. <laughs> as far as I know, I can't think of any other extensible pattern that gives a higher density. I don't density. think there is another one. That's a, that's it. That um, is, but that this one it. you can fit in any shape, size, or form, and you'll keep pretty close to that density, right around seventy-five. Nice. Um, so you can. So if you're ever wanting to build larger ships and you need to calculate a particular amount of uh, energy that you're going to need, mm. you can then just take a straight volume calculation, divide by 75, yeah. or multiply by 75, and then you can know what kind of energy you're going to get in that space. So you can already yeah. do that type of calculation even before you make the ship. Ah, brilliant! Using so. what? Using what? Which number do you use? I forgot the number. Just say it again. 75. 75. You can just use 75. So if you just take your volume, multiply by 75, that'll give you your uh, estimated energy uh, production. Oh, as beautiful. far as shields, I don't know. That may vary. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really. Yeah. I mean, shields might be roughly around 16 to 18 thousand in the same volume, but. Um, I haven't done as much a focus on shield technology yet. I've just been focusing on energy because that seems to be more of the brain brain it is buster at the moment. It is. Oh wow! Well, the pirates it's... are fighting at the base. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. They decide that you know they're going to try to take another look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, if I build a ship off of this core alone, I'd have actually a half decent ship going with it. And given how compact it is, you could kind of cram it into a you smaller can make ship. A really nice ship there. How big is that? Ten? No, five by five by ten. Well, I hope oh, that was really. educational. Yeah, that was great, mate. Thanks for cheers for uh, coming yeah, on. Yeah, that's what I was kind of bursting at the seams to try to show you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm glad you did because that's 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 brilliant. Like, and it's really simple actually when you think about it because all you're really doing is sort of building those little fruit shapes. <laughs> Fruit shapes, yeah. yeah. Energy, <laughs> energy fruits. Yeah. You, know, you build them and then put your shield blocks between them when you've run out of places to put them. And it's essentially a checkerboard shape, but every uh, alternating uh, second node becomes a centerpiece. Right. And it's alternating on each uh, each second layer. So it's like a checkerboard in a checkerboard. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> See, when the first time I saw this problem, I thought, no, oh, man, this is like some kind of crazy ge geometry problem. Yeah. Um, and I was sure I'd seen something which was like a like a well, staggered checkerboard, but I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure it out, and this is this is it. 
Okay, done with the lag. Yeah, if you really break it down to even more basic comp uh, parts, then there are two checkerboard patterns that are overlaying each other yeah. in a 3D space. One is the standard checkerboard that we're familiar with, and then there's another checkerboard where the the second a layer is separated by two blocks, and they're alternating every two blocks. When you interpose those, it becomes this pattern. And given the, I guess, the current formula and code that calculates energy, that seems to be the optimal pattern as far as for scaling things like this. So. Mm. Well, I often, I often use a big tail, and at the center of the tail will be my power. And then, because I'll have a long ship, you know, so... Mm -hmm. um, and you can, yeah, you can fill all the gaps in with shields. I thought it would probably be the best thing. I don't think energy tanks would be the best. Not unless you have a really big ship. Like, the, the thing, that, that hailstorm had a quarter of a billion energy. And if you use this type of energy distribution, you can probably even make it better. It would be better. It would be. Better. I don't know. I don't know how by how much. I don't know. I I never tore your ship apart to figure out what type of energy was in it. But I was figuring you'd probably put some chains of ninety nine twenty sevens against it. So yeah, it was. It was. Like, so if you did that and it was only getting you about fifty to sixty, yeah, you could see another about twenty percent boost in energy if you did this one. So. Well, what I'd like to do is make it smaller and or use this in, like, because I'm starting to think about making a room for it, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you make a proper engine room and you, like, mm -hmm. make things, because there's a the few of the ships that have been putting up on the, uh, you know, ship of the week. They've been really inspiring, you know. Well, designs for engine rooms that'll fit this particular pattern the best would be any room that's divisible by four plus one divisible in factors of four plus one yeah so you just take four plus one is five eight plus one is nine yeah so you so it'd be five nine thirteen <coughs> seventeen stuff like that those will probably work best which i think a uh, 13 by 13 of this would give you probably around i think it was about 150 some thousand yeah i mean you just take 13 by 13 and multiply by 75 so 13 times 13 is 2197 times 75 you're going to get roughly 164,000 power <laughs> so you can calculate it that quickly when you look at that now that's 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 kind of the real elegance of this system is it allows you to plan it and it's easy to extend so and once you get once you figure the pattern out it's not that hard to figure it out afterwards as you can see, I've got all the shields sitting on the nodes, so... Eh, for the most part, except for this end over here. If I chop this end off, it would be strictly a 5x9. And I'm lagging. Mm -hmm. Come on. It happens to the best of us. Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm not in build mode. <laughs> Small details. I'm not going to sweat it. But you'll see kind of a pattern right there, just in this 5x9, you'll see kind of a pattern there. Yeah. So, and just that pattern alone gives 16,983. I call that the ship's flying together pattern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one way of looking at it. I, usually, I call them the arrows pointing to the middle pattern. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, what was it again? Ship's Oops. flying in. see okay yeah but that's the thing it's not really fair to teach people this design in layers because that's not how it works it doesn't really work right. in layers as soon as they try to put them side by side they'll break it you've got to learn that you've got to make these little little what, little little mines <laughs> little yeah it's still it's still at 75 and a half density right now yeah just trimming that layer out yeah, so, yeah. It's, so it doesn't matter how 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 you uh, slice it now, you're going to get that type of density. You're going to get 75 per, yeah. Well, roughly. Is, well, that's what I, you want. You're actually going to get it slightly more than that as long as it's arranged properly. So if you, as long as you estimate on 75, you'll at least be safe. So. Yeah. But that's it. Have oh. fun with it. 
Well, so I'd like to see much. what you can do with that. Yeah, yeah thanks very welcome. much for that. I'll do my best to get it right and uh, to learn it. And if I get it wrong, I'll come back to you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Hopefully, it'll make your mushrooms a little more spicy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much for helping us out with that. That was great. And no problem. Wonderful. My pleasure. And I can't wait to see your videos as well when they come. Oh, yeah. Whenever my computer decides to stop being a pain in the butt, you know. Oh, brilliant. When it decides to let me encode in peace.